Good afternoon everyone, my name is Anna Kay and today I'm going to be giving a tour of Humphreys Hall. Um, before we get started, I'd like to point out Emily behind the camera, um, so go ahead and say hi to Emily. Hi everyone, my name is Emily, I'm a marketing intern with University Housing, and tell us where you're tuning in from. Alright, so with that, I just kind of want to point out a couple of um, key places where we're at right now. So we're on the Humphreys North patio right now. Um, so kind of behind Emily, we have Gregson Hall, um, 1021 Food Hall, um, and then to the right we have Founders, um, and then kind of through this little breezeway area um, over there is Kimple Hall. Um, but with that, we'll head inside. There is a um, so as we head inside, you're going to get to meet the CRE, or the Coordinator for Residence Education. Um, so this is Summer, I'll let her introduce herself. Hi y'all, my name is Summer, I am the CRE of Humphreys Hall. Um, this will be my third year in the building, and I can't wait to meet y'all. Alrighty, so kind of with that, this is the main general um, entrance area for Humphreys. Um, right over here we have the front desk area, um, so during the day that will be housed by a hall admin and then at, after hours um, there will always be an RA at the front desk um, to help with equipment checkouts or lockouts or help you call the RA on duty and things like that. Um, really quickly we want to walk up here and show you the south patio as well. So from here you can see Yoakum right over there. Um, these two towers are often confused, but this becomes the town of Yoakum. Um, we have some picnic tables, some benches, and then over here we're actually right across from the Walton College of Business right now. Um, so that's super convenient location-wise. You're right in the center of campus, very close to everything. So super nice. And the uh, parking lot's going to be used during move-in. Like they'll be coming up. Where will yes. they be coming in? So. Um, Um, so you'll park your car, come get your keys right on the patio here, and then we do have a dolly ramp on the side of the building, um, so if you have anything super heavy that you're bringing in, um, we do have a way for you to get in the building without going up all the stairs. We do have elevators in this yes, building too. Yes, we do have elevators in this building too. As you've seen a couple of times, um, I have a fob on this key ring. Um, so this is kind of a security measure that we have for the building. You just hold up your fob to the box and it opens. And that's just so that only residents that live in the building have access um, to the building. So that's super, super, super safe. All right. Thank you. Okay, you'll see what, what is it called again? The Humphreys um, Cafe. Cafe. I do yes. want to mention about the office that both Humphreys and Founders mail comes here. So if you live in Founders too, you'll also get your mail and packages at Humphreys. Um, so like Summer said, you'll pick up packages at the front desk. Uh, but these are the Humphreys mailboxes. Um, so if you're living in Humphreys, this is where any of your, like, your letter mail will be or like postcards, things like that. Um, and then if you can take them this way. Um, we have Summer's office, so if you ever need her during the day, she'll be right there. Um, we have a little study room, conference room area. And then something unique to Humphreys is um, they have this little room called the Camel Cafe. Um, I don't know if you want to explain the association with camels, yeah. but feel free. Um, so Humphreys has unofficially adopted the camel as our mascot. Um, I don't know exactly where it started from. It could be Humphreys. It could just be that we're at the top of the hill. Um, but we do lovingly associate a lot of our traditions with camels. Um, so my staff this past year created this space, um, kind of transformed the study room into a very cozy and vibey place um, to still study, but just hang out. Um, so yeah, a lot of the residents really seem to enjoy it. The RA staff really enjoyed it. Um, and then a bunch of the artwork and stuff in here was either donated or made by residents for this space. So, 
Yeah, super cool and unique to this building. Did you uh, mention the 60th birthday already? I have not, um, but this year Humphreys will be celebrating its 60th birthday. Um, it was opened in 1961, um, so yeah, we will be celebrating that this year. Um, I'm just really enjoying the history of this building. All right, so right now we're entering the Humphreys Great Room. Um, this is kind of the main common area. If you want to do a 360, kind of show them everything. Um, there's lots of seating and TVs and ping pong table, uh, pool table, and then there's also piano kind of over back in that corner. Uh, and then these mailboxes right here are, like Summer said, the Founders mail is also received here. So if you live in Founders, this is where your mailbox will be. Um, if you live in Humphreys, don't get confused and think these are your mailboxes. Your mailboxes were the first ones we showed. Um, so yeah, this is kind of the, the great room. We can just kind of walk around, let you see everything. Um, is like there I, any programming that you do particularly in this area? Yeah, um, well, it's going to be some of our larger scale programs in this space just because it is such a huge space. Um, but also like informal things like ping pong or pool, if you want to rent out any of that equipment, we do have it at the front desk, um, at least right now. <laughs> So um, if that's more your jam, then we totally have that for you. Um, I know there have been some very competitive ping pong tournaments that have happened in the past year, so I'm excited to see if anyone is super skilled in that area. Do you compete? No, I am not athletically gifted at all. So if you play <laughs> against me, you will win, guaranteed. But, okay. Uh, Alrighty, and then as you come out of these other doors from the great room, um, right off of the great room, there's a kitchen area. Um, so there's a community fridge where you can store things if they don't fit in a mini fridge or if you don't have a mini fridge. Um, but it is a community fridge, so be mindful of that. Um, there's a stove, a microwave, kind of a little seating area. So it's just a really great community space to be able to, you know, come down with your friends and make cookies and hang out and eat and cook a meal together. Um, so that's a super, super nice um, luxury that Hungry's has. And now I think we're going upstairs. Downstairs. 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 Forgot about the downstairs. <laughs> There's a big basement right down there. Mm -hmm. these bulletin boards. Um, to the right is the laundry room. Um, so this is where all the washers and dryers are. Um, there's an ice machine back there. Um, so the University of Arkansas has this really cool app called um, Laundry Alert where you can um, download it to your phone and then if you're on like the ninth floor you can check the app to see which washers and dryers are available before you come down here. So that way you're not lugging all your clothes when there are no laundry um, services available at that moment. And then we also have this thing where you can scan a QR code on the washing machines and report any maintenance issues um, with the washers or dryers so that we can get those fixed properly. Um, but yeah, this is the laundry room. And uh, what, what year are you? Um, I will be a senior. Senior this year. Yes. So what did you uh, What did you study? Um, I am a history and French double major. Okay. Okay. So right here um, we have vending machines. Um, so there's just a couple drink vending machines and then some snacks. Um, all of the vending machines um, in Humphreys take cash and then also credit cards as well. And I think they do like the wireless pay as well. Um, so yeah, that's super nice. Super nice to have if you like night snack or something or if you, you know, I don't know, go get food, um, <laughs> that's there for you. And then we have kind of a recycling station here. Um, so anytime you need to do any recycling, there are um, cans on the floors, I believe. Um, but if, you know, those are full or if you're just in the lobby, um, these are here for you as well. And then this is kind of the, it's called like the Humphreys classroom space. 
Um, so it's just like a large meeting room. Um, if you have joined Lead Hogs, you'll have Lead Hogs meetings here. Um, but yeah, this is just kind of just another little gathering space slash study space slash area to hang out, I guess. Do you have anything to add about the classroom? Um, we do use it, like you were saying, for Lead Hogs as well as staff meetings. Um, but if you are interested in reserving this space in some of our other community spaces, that is uh, an option as well. We just have that form on Hogsing. So if you need to like have a hardcore study session with a group of friends or you have a group that wants to meet, um, you can totally reserve this space so that it will be just for you. And what is Lead Hogs? Have we told them what right. Lead Hogs is? Right. Um, so Lead Hogs is one of our housing student leadership groups. Um, they uh, meet every Monday from 6 to about 7.15. Um, we do all kinds of leadership development, different activities. Um, they also help during move-in. They get to move in early. Um, but it's really just this awesome program that's year-round. Um, and you really just get to bond with the community um, in your building. Now we're going to head upstairs. Yes. Have a strong person. We have to go into the water bottle, or we can do that on the floor. That's fine. Yeah. Oh, okay. What did you study? Um, I study communication and with a minor in journalism, but I started out as a biology major, actually. So how did that transition happen? I realized that chemistry was not the move. <laughs> <laughs> um, we are getting into the elevator, so we may lose connection. Uh, bear with us. But I realized chemistry was not the move, and sciences like that were just too difficult. So. I decided to go with communication and journalism, and I love it, so it was a great choice. Excellent, excellent stuff. And then you had a transition as well, is that right? Or you're still um, sticking with your major, but... Yeah, so I'm sticking with my undergrad major because I didn't realize soon enough to be able to change it, um, but I've decided that I want to go into kind of student affairs and uh -huh. um, higher education, um, so I'm going to go to grad school for communications. Like in very cool. We got a comment. Uh, someone said, I hear this hall is haunted. <laughs> Humphrey's hall is not haunted. Can you respond to that? Is it haunted? It's not? It is not haunted. Okay. Despite, okay. despite being 60 years old, I promise it's not haunted. <laughs> um, someone said the connection was spotty. Uh, we were in the elevator, so it let us know if it's better now. We didn't say anything super important. Yeah, it wasn't yeah, we important. We didn't miss any information. And we will post all this on YouTube and Instagram after it's done as well. Yeah, so first up we have these cool um, water, bottle, water bottle filler stations on every floor. Um, they're great for reusable bottles or reusable cups. Um, super convenient, that way you don't have to, you know, keep water bottles in your room or anything like that. Um, and you and these the are stand on, the uppy thing. Yes, the stand the uppy thing. Um, but those are on every floor. Um, and then do you want to talk about the trash shoe? Sure. Um, so we do have a trash chute on every floor. Um, we just ask that um, anything you throw down the trash chute is bagged and it's only like your personal trash. So if there's anything that doesn't fit down the trash chute, please bring it downstairs to the basement. There is a trash room down there um, or dispose of it otherwise. We just want to make sure that um, anything in there is bagged so it's not a crazy mess when we have to take it all out. All right. So now we're heading into more of the like resident part of the floor where people live and shower and things like that. Um, but first we're gonna stop in a bathroom and kind of check that out. So Humphreys is a community style dorm, um, which means there are no private bathrooms. So all the bathroom spaces are shared. Um, in Humphreys there are four on every floor. Um, so you'll share it with maybe 10 or 12 other people. Not that yet. Yeah. Um, so over here we have two kind of toilet spaces. I won't show you those. I feel like you know what those should look like. Um, and then on this side there are two showers. Um, they do have curtains to separate them. So there's that. And then there are four sinks in every bathroom as well. And so now we'll head into the room. Yes, that sounds great. We're in room 925. So if you're in room 925, this is your lucky day. This will be your room. Um, 
So one of the cool things about Humphreys is it has great views. Um, they're absolutely beautiful. This side in particular has a great view of the stadium and kind of the rest of campus. Um, but yeah, um, all of the like cherry colored wood comes with the room, which I guess is just the beds in these rooms. Um, and then everything else is built in and like not really movable. Um, one thing, um, I lived in Humphreys for a while, and one thing I love about Humphreys is the built-ins. There's lots of storage and drawers, and it's just super nice, so. Um, feel free to ask any questions you have about any measurements or any specifics in the room. Why don't you give us um, the length and the width of that yeah. if you don't mind. I'll, I'll use my hand help. Yes. Um, so the length of the desk is 84 inches. And the width of it, or the depth of it, I guess, is um, 24 inches. So from here to the wall. That's a common one, and this is another common one to yeah. ask about. Um, so lengthwise, it's 70 inches. And then depthwise, it's 25 inches. And I'm going to go ahead and measure yeah. this, because this would also feel important to know. Um, and then from counter to like the top of this is 36 inches. Um, someone asked, how deep is the closet? Yeah. Oh, you got it? No, nope, yeah. <laughs> um, so, it's about 26 inches. And Mandy asks, if I want to raise my bed and fill out a fix-it form, what do I specifically ask for if I have something 35 inches high under my bed, or under the bed? Uh, I would say you want to request uh, that it's lifted at least, say, 36 inches, um, if not a little bit higher. So you'll want whatever you, if you know the height of the thing you want to put in there, I would say request that it goes higher than that. These go every three, every three inches, so they'll find something above that. Yeah. Do you want to show the detail on those? So each of these pegs is three inches. And someone asked, can you give dimensions of the drawers? Um, um, the, there are several types of drawers, seven, so we can just do all of them. Yeah, yeah. the top one and then the middle one. Yeah. So these bigger ones are 36 inches. These bigger ones are 22 inches deep. Or I guess like this way. I don't, mm -hmm. I don't geometry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Just technically that's the width, that's the length, that's the okay. height. And then the length is 31 inches, and then, what did I say the To get height, you can come from like right here on the lip. And then, um, I guess the depth of the drawer is 9 inches. Yeah. Um, so all three of I these are the same. the same. Yeah. On the opposite side, they're going to be the same. Those will be different. Yeah. These it should be around the same length, I feel like. Uh, the length of these is 22 inches. Um, the width of them is 14 inches. And then the top drawers, I can't really get a good measurement on them, but I would say no more than three or four inches um, deep. So they're very shallow drawers on the top. Um, same for kind of over here. They are 20 inches. Um, um, 12 inches wide and then once again like three no more four. than three or four inches deep. And then these are a little bit Oh. I feel like they should be the same. 20 by 12 and then We can make it so that it only measures from the very top. Okay. okay, now it's only measuring from the top. Uh, so that is about five inches deep. So a little bit less shallow than the top. Um, so it measures the whole thing again. Um, Holly asks, if the bed is partially raised, how much space is available for storage? Um, so we kind of talked about that a little bit. Um, you are able to loft the beds as high or as low as you want them. Um, so in theory, they could go all the way to up here, um, or you could even put them lower than this. I don't know that you would want them any lower than that. Um, they'd be very close to the ground. So it's kind of customizable if you have something you want under your bed. You can always loft it when you get here and see how high you want to make it. 
Um, lofting the beds is relatively easy if you have one other person with you. Um, we give out mallets at move-in that make it easier to loft. Um, Let's point out that stabilizer bar, since that's yeah. something that will need to be there if you go up to the higher. Yeah. So also these stabilizer bars are part of the beds. Um, like Christopher said, if you loft it all the way, the stabilizer bar would need to move from the top um, to the bottom of the bed. Um, that's just a safety measure so that the bed doesn't like fall in on itself. Um, but those make it very safe, um, especially if you want to loft it all the way up. Also, with lofting it all the way up, you can uh, ask to have like basically a guard rail put up um, just to make sure you don't roll out of bed when it's all the way up. Um, and then we do ask whenever you move out, um, hopefully all the way at the end of May, um, that it, your bed is returned to its original height. So kind of the height these are right now, it has to be exactly the same when you move out. Avari asks, do you have to request to get the, move, the bed moved up or can you do it yourself? You can do it yourself, um, but you can also request if you feel like on move-in day you're not going to have the manpower to be able to move it up. Um, but yeah, so if you do want to request it, uh, we kind of mentioned it earlier, fixit.uark.edu, or you can just search UARC Fix It in Google and it'll pop up. Um, you just put in a request, tell them like your room number, your name, they might ask for your ID, your email, and then tell them what you want, um, how high you want it lofted, and then they'll get it fixed for you. Uh, Mandy asks, what is the measurement from the floor to the windowsill? Or you could do it from the window yeah. sill down, yeah. yeah. From the lip, I guess, sir. That's so from like the top of the ledge down is 36 inches. Um, Bella asks, what's the measurement from wall to wall? From this wall or from the window to the wall? Or from, I'll just do them all. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this. is 138 inches and then I don't know this is gonna close the door yeah probably the best way from the edge of the window ledge to the door is 166 and then like the sides of the window ledge yeah that's like, the next Abby asks how deep is the window ledge the window ledge is 16 inches deep all right well, we're currently caught up on questions. Um, do you have anything to say to the incoming class and any advice to give them? Yeah, so um, my kind of biggest piece of advice for, you know, moving in and getting settled is I know you've probably been buying some stuff for your dorm, um, but my biggest piece of advice and something that I wish I could follow is that to wait until you get into your room to buy all your, like, beautiful decorations and all of your things um, because a, it makes moving in a lot easier because you have less to carry um, and move in, but also you never know what your space is going to you know, look like and you never know how things are going to fit and how you're going to want to decorate it. So it's always a good idea to maybe wait until you get into your space to kind of decide how you want to set it up and decorate it. Um, that way you don't have a bunch of things bought beforehand that you end up not using. Um, a few more questions came in. Yeah. Kelly asks, how deep is the top of the closet and the middle? So those two. The middle shelf. I can't even see. Someone else may have to. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, this middle shelf is 16 deep, and then I'll let Chris read the top one. I was not gifted with the height jeans. That is 20. Um, 20, almost 21 inches. All right. Um, Mandy asks, can you have the stabilizer bar moved down out of sight if you are only raising the bed around 36 inches? Um, I don't know. We recommend keeping the stabilizer bar just to make sure that your bed um, is stable. Um, but if you choose to remove it um, just for aesthetics or whatever, then um, that is totally up to you. Again, when you move out, we just ask that it's returned to its original. Also, if you are like worried about it, um, I know lots of people hang like lights from them um, or just kind of wrap things around them so they're not as much of an eyesore. Um, that way you stay safe and it's cutely decorated. Um, so that's a great quick solution to that. Abby asks, is there a way for you to show us a corner room? Can you check and see real quick? Yeah. 
Okay, okay. we have another so question. Okay, questions. while they're um, gone, I kind of noticed something. Um, so behind each bed as well is kind of a bulletin board. I forgot to mention they're kind of they're built into the wall like the shelves and um, the dresser. Um, so that's something that's cool behind the bed if you want to hang up some pictures and decorate it um, to your liking. Bella asks, how tall is the two shelves in the closet? We can do it. Um, like from here to here? Probably like from here to here and then from here to there. Oh, okay. From sh the middle shelf is nine inches high, so like from here to here. And then from here to the ceiling is 19 inches. All right, let's go see the Nine, two, three. corner room. Which is going to be a mirror image for the most part. We're going to room 923. And it's it looks exactly the exact the same. same. <laughs> but there's no really big difference. Um, another thing that we kind of forgot to talk about, um, there is a cable box in every room that allows you to hook up to cable. Um, we use Cox, so we have a campus contour provider. Um, one of the cool features about that is you can kind of, you download the contour app on your phone and you know tell them we are with the University of Arkansas. Um, and then you can watch Cox on your phone anywhere you go. And you can also do the same thing on your laptop. So just go to um, University Contour or UART Contour, I believe. Um, and it's the first link and you just tell University of Arkansas and then you can watch live TV for free on your laptop, which is pretty cool. Um, I use that pretty frequently. But there is a cable hookup as well to hook up a TV, so. Um, do you have any messages for the incoming community that's coming into Humphreys? Um, let's see. I think what's really, really cool about Humphreys is that we get so many different types of students in this building, um, especially because it is so centrally located that it's kind of a cool place to be because you can really just like walk 10 steps and reach pretty much any part of campus. Um, not every part, but almost every part. Um, so. I mean, I'm really excited for y'all to be here, and I think it's just an awesome opportunity being located where we are to get involved, to see different things, um, and to really find your place here in Arkansas. 